Oh wow! All right. Did they make? Did they make this? I don't remember. Okay, this looks different now. Nope, this is it. Here we go. Right, and then the codex. Mhm. Mm it all, it's all it's all making sense here. It's all making sense here. All, is it Boston or is it Australia? Crazy guys. What? Come on with the what? Oh, hang on. I gotta put my memory card in here. Hang on. This is a little anticlimactic because the name of the game was right there. Hang on. It's in my pocket. Hold on. I got it right here. Hang on. Let me plug it in. Hang on. So you know this is legit. Too much so to quit. Bump the mic there. My bad. Oh, there it is. Okay. Slap a that bitch right on there. Boom. That's what we're playing. What? You didn't think that's what we were playing? Well, too bad, because that's what we're playing, because I'll do whatever I want, and I wanted to play. What was that update? I don't know. All right, so adjust the brightness slider until the dark gray box is just barely visible against the black background. Um, I could do that, or uh, I can just, like, leave it right there so I can actually see shit in this game because it's dark as dicks. Do not do what it just told you to do. I will roll on hard, because... It's funsies. I've beaten this game a shitload of times, but I haven't played it for a few years. So... Uh, sorry, that was... Uh, uh, that, uh, almost burp semi-vomit was sponsored by Mountain Dew. Or at least, it was sponsored by my gut, which had the Mountain Dew. Um... Yeah, I haven't played this game for a bit. It's fucking great. I'll turn on subtitles, although last time I did, they were horribly, uh... Like, out of sync. At Good certain time. locations. Oh, he's talking. Shut up. Son. Yeah? I'm special. I'm special. I can't change the you fucking subtitles, so. See, I was gonna do the other game, and then I was like, I'm gonna do this game. You know what? Yeah. They were okay. Great. Oh, yeah, they were. Oh, shit. What time did I start? Hang on. Gotcha. I'm a special boy. So this game, uh, Bioshock, by the way, is what we're playing. If you haven't seen the title 700 times so far in this video. And if you haven't, you should probably get that looked at, because there it is again. That's the name of the thing. It's Bioshock right there. I'm sure I'll use that for the title card. Not this time, but next time. Because, you know, I don't need it. I'll do that thing when it corrodes, too. That'll be all like, ugh. But there it is. That's what we're playing. What the hell was I saying? Oh, starting time. Yeah. Okay. So in this game, you can save it whenever you want, which will be really handy. Because, like, we'll all be into it. Like, yeah, we're doing a Let's Play. And, like, whoa, what's going to happen next? And I'll be like, okay, bye. And then just leave. And I can actually do that this time. That thing almost cut me in half. The first time I ever played this game, my dick exploded. I'm still recovering from that. But after that, I was watching this part, right? This is all cutscene, cutscene. I just sat here. For like, a minute. And I'm like, what's happening? Okay, move. What the fuck? And then I was like, oh shit, this is the game! Because, you know, this is back in 2000. Seven, I believe. This game's six years old now. Bioshock Infinite has just come out, by the way. If you're watching this years in the future, it's pretty fucking fun so far. Uh, I don't know if I like it as much as this one, but it's I definitely like it better than two. Two was okay. This one's better. Infinite's cool. Got a lot of crazy shit, but I haven't beaten it yet. But back to Bioshock 1, because that's what we're playing, not the other game that you thought. That you thought. That's why you came. Um, yeah, I sat and floated in the water for quite some time because I thought there was n no way that the game looked like that. Obviously, you know, it looks like fucking garbage now. No, it does look pretty purdy, but at the time, I was blowing away real hard, real hard, real hard in the dick. Just scooch on in here. So there's a lot of dialogue in this game, and I don't know if you've ever watched one of my Let's Plays. If not, welcome to the show. And the ride. Enjoy the ride while you show your dick to everyone watching. My name is Michael. I introduced myself by Michael now. I realize I've... I've, uh, uh, Broken free of my bonds from my, uh... My, my name that my master gave me. LT. Mkilla. It's actually not true. It's, I gave myself that name. But some people call me that. You know. You're, like... I don't know why you would. But anyway, well, I guess you would because that's my YouTube name and I haven't changed it. And like every time I log in, they're like, fucking change your fucking name to like your Google Plus or whatever. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. I don't want to fucking change it. So I will go down over here. Blah, 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 blah. Subtitle. Oh, they're already on? Dude, you kidding me? All right. So there's this whole stupid uh, like glitch going on here with the fucking um, 
with the brass balls achievement, and that's to get uh, to beat the entire game on hard without dying, or really without using a Vita Chamber. And that option isn't in there, and there's a bunch of bullshit workaround way to get it to work. But I'm not gonna do it anyway because I'd be reloading the game a lot. So I'm just gonna fucking play it on hard, and if I die, I'll respawn, and I'll just fucking keep dying over and over again. That's fine. That's fine. He's talking. Look at him. He's sweating. I'm talking over the cutscene. What? Shh. Oh yeah. So I do that all the time. If this is the first video you've seen, all the time. Literally, Becky. Oh my god. He's got his hand out there. What are you gonna say? I'm ruining the story of Bioshock six years after it came out. I'm sorry. Read a book. Play a game. Pick up a controller. This game's fucking awesome. I played this game like I think I beat it four times within like the first month it came out, which really sucked because <laughs> the last time I beat it, I'm like, yeah, I thousand it. Beat it on hard. Those last achievement I needed. It's fucking awesome reveal, by the way. This whole city is the shit. Rapture's top notch. Um, but I beat it, I thousand it, and then, like, a month later, well, not a, a month or so after I'd beaten it, I don't know, remember how much longer after the game had come out, they released this, like, free DLC that included some, like, extra plasmids or something, which, actually, I may not have, so I'll probably download them after this part, and in between the next part, look at that guy, what's that, what's that, oh, it's a fucking whale, that's a whale, that's a whale! But included in that DLC was one additional achievement to the game worth 100 points, increasing the maximum to 1,100. And it was to beat the game without using the Vita Chamber on the hard difficulty. And a Vita Chamber basically is a checkpoint. So if you die, you respawn at a checkpoint. But you don't actually, it's not a checkpoint like you go back in time, if that makes sense. You still, like, continue from where you left off. Basically, you die and you come back to life in the Vita Chamber. And you just have, like, less money and less health than you had. But your enemy still has some damage dealt to him, I believe. Like, he probably recovers a little bit of health from the process. But it's kind of like a checkpoint. But you just don't reset. Uh, anyway, you have to turn that off for the achievement. It's not just don't use them. Like, you have to go into the options and select it and turn it off, or else the achievement won't unlock. And all that does is when you die, you just kick, you just get kicked right back to the main menu. But, you can still save the game whenever the fuck you want. Just hit start, you know, save game, can't save it yet. So when I said you can save it whenever you want, I was wrong. You can't, uh, still can't save it. Man, really looking like a fool. But after this part, you can save it whenever you want. So... That mode still isn't really hard, but it was just kind of annoying that I just beat hard mode, maybe dying once or twice along the way, and then it's like, oh, beat it on hard mode, just don't die. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll play it on hard again. Oh, he got whacked. The scream and the death gurgle came like a couple seconds before the text for it. Dude, he just got cut. This has been an exciting adventure so far. Hell yeah, I'm new, son! Whoa, crazy bitch. Shriek of Rage, is that what we're calling it? Alright. Alright, come on. We see you, hello. Did your daddy not pay enough attention to you? Let's go, get me off this fucking thing. So as I said, this game has a lot of narrative. There's a lot of talking between the main characters. Um, besides yourself, I believe that opening is the only time you talk that, like, inner monologue there before the plane crash. Um, but there's also audio diaries that you collect, and I won't actively, like, I'm not gonna have a guide or anything and, like, look for them or whatever, but I'll pick them up when I find them, and I'll probably play them and then talk over them, much like I'm talking over Atlas right now. They're pretty interesting, and I'll probably poke fun at most of them, because it's usually involving people getting fucked over, they're like, haha, my daughter's missing, or something like that. I've always appreciated the, like, radio sound effect. Well, actually, it's a little bit on the radio, but even more so when you get to the audio logs. It's all like... I just think it sounds really cool. So this is a Vita Chamber. So, like, say you die, you know, over there or whatever. The game doesn't restart you. You just spawn. Basically, you respawn. That's a better way to say it. You don't restart. You respawn back here. Let's hit the back button. I could have done that fucking forever ago, right? I could have just said that, and then, you know, you lose some health, you lose some Eve. But, fuck that achievement, we're not gonna bother, because we'll fucking be here forever. There's a fucking luggage case. Take it. Alright. Oh, the Y button jumps, threw me off there. Thought it was A. It's not. It's Y. Strolling on along here. 
Hell no. If you like it, then he should have put a ring on it. If Ryan liked it, then he should have put a ring on it. Oh, 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 Pick it up, bitch. Yeah, this wrench, fucking awesome. Seriously, the best melee weapon to ever exist in a first-person shooter. I will use this wrench the entire game. Assuming I find... I'll use it anyway, even if I don't, because I'm dumb shit. But there's, like, plasmids or um, tonics, which are basically, like, perma-boosting stats that you can use to, like, upgrade shit. If you get all the right ones for the wrench, like, you're a fucking golden god with this thing. It's powerful as shit. Fighting with the wrench is like bobbing and weaving. It's what it's all about. Get behind the guy like whack, whack, whack. He kind of kicked my ass a little bit, but I got some health there. Oh, is there more going on? Jesus. The most difficult part of playing hard mode in Bioshock, which is what we're playing, is the very beginning. Because you have no shit, you have no upgrades, your weapons suck, you usually have no bullets. It's just fucking hard. But... It gets easier as you go, and once you get the crossbow, it's just fucking game over. Because the toughest enemy in the game, besides, like, bosses, I guess, or whatever, although I don't even know if there really are many bosses, are the big daddies, and you can fucking waste them once you get the crossbow. Because you can use the electric crossbow tip, or just, like, electric bolts or whatever, and it basically sets up, like, electricity traps. So, like, you can crouch down, say, say the fucking dude's over there, you can, like, crouch down, fire one, two, three traps into the wall, stand over here, shoot him, he'll charge you, trip all three, and then, like, his dead body will just slide across the floor. Because even on hard, it does major damage. You get that, like, maybe halfway through the game or so. Oh, my God, I hit my microphone. Oh, my God, I hit the microphone there. What lovely tattoos he's got there on his wrists. <laughs> what was that? That's fine. Your genetic code just being rewritten. It's no big deal. This is one of my favorite 360 games, hands down. I fucking love this game. It seems like people either love this game or they don't like it at all. I, I don't know. I haven't met someone that says, like, eh, it's okay. And the people who don't like it at all, what the fuck is wrong with you? Look, you're a little fish. And your cherries pop. The subtitles was too soon that time. I, c I read it before he said it, and now it all confused me. Why? I'll probably do part one just to, like, get a prologue chapter. I don't fucking know. I have no idea how many parts this game's going to end up being. Because the best thing about this game, seriously, it's the only good thing and it's the best, is the map. Because it shows you everything, and it highlights areas as you walk through it. So you can easily just bring up the map, see a dark spot, and be like, oh, fuck, I haven't been there, and then just walk over there. And the game just turns into a fucking scavenge hunt of just, like, or scavenger hunt, <laughs> I apologize, of just, like, opening all the boxes, opening every drawers, uh, getting all the safes. And then there's a fair amount of mini games involved, which are great fun in the beginning. They're super easy, they're kind of cool, mixes it up, and then get extremely annoying as the game goes on. And I can't imagine how annoying they're going to get when I'm recording a fucking video. I'll probably just not do it for the most part. Because you can hack like every vending machine and all it really does is um, lower the prices for things to be purchased Which generally is crucial especially on hard in the beginning anyway I'm gonna do it a lot because you don't have a lot of money But near the end of the game you really don't need to be saving four dollars on a fucking health pack anyway um, as far as plasmids go, you're not going to see much variety from me because I am playing on hard. I'm just going to play the way I want to play. I'm not really going to fuck around with shit. So, Electro Bolt's pretty much going to be what I'm going to use the whole game because it's fucking awesome. Electro Bolt is, it's, in my opinion, the best fucking plasmid. It's just like shocks bitches, freezes them in day trap, in day tracks, not traps, but you can use it as a trap. You can like shoot puddles of water while people are standing in it and electrocute them. It freezes turrets. Well, it doesn't actually freeze them. It stuns them. Ice freezes them. Uh, it's just... It's it's my favorite plasma. Simple. Sweet. You get it right in the beginning. So, playing on hard, I believe you take more damage when you get hit. And you... And I'm pretty sure you, uh, you use more... Um, like... Energy, what the fuck is it called? Eve, when you use your plasmas. As you see, I've like lost a shitload there just from using one Electro Bolt. The L1 2 punch. So we want to get this prick in water. And you will ele electrocute yourself if you stand in water as well. So don't do that. 
Get over here, prick. I want to give you the one-two punch. He fucking Atlas told me to. Oh, shit. Is he behind me? Come on, prick. Here we go. Here we go. What? Come here. Come here, you shithead. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I fucking missed him. I missed him, chief. We missed him. There we go. Well, I guess actually you didn't actually need to do that to do the old one-two punch. You can just hit him, uh, zap him, then whack him, as he said. But the water works even better because you can hit the water anywhere, and as long as he's touching it, he'll be all like. Ow, 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 ow. That was him getting electrocuted. I don't generally drink um, drinks because I think they they do something like they raise one thing and get the fuck out of there, lower something else. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it gives you health, but it drains Eve. And especially on hard, you want Eve. Because you want to be fucking zapping bitches. Whatever. Bitches are everywhere. And they, they're they ripe for zapping. And they deserve it, too. So, oh, shit, there's a guy behind me. So never feel bad about zapping somebody. Mm, mm. You pull the right trigger to kill him. That's what the game's telling me. I'm aware of this. I don't know if the game knew that. This game has the potential to be fucking boring for a let's play. Not to play it. The game's amazing. It's engaging as shit. It's remnants of like a Fallout a little bit. Not in really gameplay manner, but more just like searching and checking shit. I don't know. I mean, you don't like carry stuff and there's no weight and shit. But I don't know. It reminds me of that. That like I'm running around collecting everything. But that may not be the most entertaining thing in the world to watch. So I'm going to try and, you know, not take too long fucking around with shit. B button heals, by the way, in case you were wondering. But I definitely want to explore the game and, like, you know, get my money's worth. See, so if you hit the back button here, it gives you the direction you're facing, uh, the area you're currently in. It's all good. It's all good stuff. I actually wish they had a fucking map like that in Bioshock Infinite. That's one of the things I don't like about it. I wish they gave you a map. Got a map in this one. You know what it is? It's a great map. I like the map a lot. Why wouldn't you give me a map in the second one? Or the third one. Not the second one. They gave you a map in the second one. It was okay. Third one's better. Oh, he's talking to... Oh, Mike, here we go. Right, so you'll make your fucking prince in Africa, and if I give you a small fee to release some assets, you'll make me rich. And then your kids, blah, 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 blah. It's like, the guy just goes on. I can't fuck around all day here. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at him! You look at him! I'm just trying to pass the time, I don't know. Find my family. New goal. Go to Neptune's bounty, bitch. That was a crazy bitch around the corner, right? You're like, no, Michael, it's a woman and her baby. Why is she a crazy bitch? There, look. Shadow puppetry. We'll sneak up on this fucking bitch. So you have to hit the left trigger to swap it. Like, just hitting left trigger won't shoot the plasmid. It'll equip it. So right trigger will equip the gun. Left trigger will equip the plasmid. Just saying. And then Why sneak up on here? this bitch and Pya! Pya! Fucking laid her out. And yeah, okay, alright. That's a big ass fucking gun! Look at it! It doesn't even look nearly as big when I'm holding it, but it's big. big old gun. Well, you're gonna be strangling babies, that just doesn't seem right. I always eat candy and food because that'll give you health and will not drain Eve. Repeat, will not drain Eve! So every, every Eve attack, or plasmid, that uses Eve, uses a set amount, but if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see here, no matter how much it uses, you'll get it as long as you have a little bit left. So say I use Electro Bolt, and it definitely takes more than what's left to use it. It takes like a third of what my full level is now, if not like half. You still get one shot as long as you have a sliver of Eve left. So it's just like a, a free round, basically, that you can fire off. and like... Bruh! There's an audio diary in here somewhere. I'll demonstrate. I've been talking about him oh, so much. Some whiskey. Some dude walking around. Whoa! Who the fuck is hitting shit downstairs? Don't make me come down there! Don't you fucking make me- I'm- that's it. I'm coming down there. I'm coming down. Yeah, you bitch. Uh, you fucking bitch-ass bitch. Definitely want to keep this shit reloaded. Alright, so now she's coming out and she's like, Chia! Charlie! Charlie, where you gone, Charlie? Boosh! Charlie's gotten the hell, bitch! You're joining him soon! Oh, she's taking some hits. Gonna fucking zap this bitch again. 
That was a lead head splicer. Bitch had a gun! Grab them bullets. The gun is good to use. Um, you know, again, I'm I'm uh, very preferential to the to the wrench, but it doesn't do a lot in the beginning, especially on hard, because it's not upgraded at all. But it is fun as fuck to just whack people in the head. Wanna run around, check dead bodies, everywhere, checking shit, checks and checks and checks and checks and pick and fucking stuff up. So what happened with that other let's play I was gonna do? Okay, well, oh look at this guy right there, boosh. And then I'll just be like, boo, boo. Oh, I guess that was enough anyway. Overkill. Killing spree. The reloads are cool too. I like the animation. Um, but what happened with Dead Space was... I always look for shiny shit. It's good stuff. I recorded the last part, and I mentioned in the last part that something fucked up and I had to re-record it. Which was true. What I didn't mention was, at the end of the first recording, the teaser for the game I was going to play was Bioshock, not Assassin's Creed. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that or whatever. And then by the time I got to recording it again, I decided, nah, I don't want to play Bioshock. I'm going to play Assassin's Creed. But then I had crazy bullshit scheduled. I'm not even fucking going into it. I was in like four states in two weeks. And my asshole has been torn asunder. I got back to it and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play Assassin's Creed. So I'll play Bioshock. So here I am playing Bioshock. I'm sure you'll be fine with it. This is an audio diary, by the way. She's talking, talking about Storm. This is like one of the only, if not the only, audio diary of Rapture before shit went down. And I think shit goes down during. No, that, I'm full of shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Half the audio diaries are before Rapture went to shit. And then are the, like, telling of Rapture going to shit through the audio diaries. I am so sorry that I fucked that up. Oh, fucking grab the cash. So there's tons of optional areas in this game. I think I walked in here already, but case in point, this is one right here, like, you don't actually have to walk in here, you could have just been like, see ya bitch, and just follow the arrow at the top of the screen until you get the hell out of there, and I'm just kind of, you know, walking around, doing a bit of exploring, some festive looking characters over here, ooh, ooh, cocktail lounge, cocktails, whoa, sneaky Pete's will do that, they'll be hiding around corners, sneaking, peeing, all kinds of shit. I, I did pick hard, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Because if I didn't, I'll check the tapes after this. I'll check the tapes. Oh, can I just, I can probably change it mid-game, right? Where's the difficulty? Is it in here? Oh, it's hard. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Just making sure. I was just making sure because I whooped that guy's ass fucking so hard. Guy. And I got a shitload of health backs, too. Oh shit. Oh, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, that's something. I guess I deserve that. I sure as shit don't. You're gross as shit, lady. And there's whiskey in the toilet. Why would I drink that? Whoa! Dudes will fucking pop out all over the place. Look at that. One whack, or one zap, one whack. Dude's already down. He's already down for the count. He's down for the count. Normally, I would say first-person shooters would be, you know, kind of lackluster for a Let's Play. I know, I'm sure a billion people fucking do them. I think they are, and I wouldn't do them. But this is this is definitely a different class of first-person shooter, in my opinion. And hopefully, it'll be entertaining to watch. I've rambled on thoroughly in the first 20 or 30 minutes, just because I love this game so much. This guy says there's a hole in the wall. It smells like shit. And then I just walk through this room, and it canceled that recording. My bad. I'm not going to go back and play it again for you. But I will just move on. You think that's a child down there? Yeah, well look, it is. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Little sister now. <laughs> Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a I, I know they're like collecting Adam, you and you know, you'll learn that throughout the, the course of the game. I don't know why they gotta keep stabbing him in the face like that. Like it works like a needle. Just stab him, sister, suck it out, move on. Alright. But they got goodies, so you want Adam. Adam basically gives you upgrades. Um, it gives you... That's it, it gives you upgrades. It's like it's like money for your plasmids. And uh, any tonics you want to buy and shit like that. All the shit in the store costs real life cash. Everything else costs Adam. I'm gonna burp. Oh, this is a pretty good scene right here. This is, this is a great introduction to this game. <laughs> this is fucking just weird. Oh! Clubbed her! 
Clubbed! Clubbed! Is that a fucking little sister or a baby seal? Because she's been clubbed. That's a big daddy. That's what I was talking about earlier about, you know, being a bitch on hard. Oh, shit. This thing will kill me probably a few times. That is just gruesome. Hello! Hello! Hi, neighbor! Don't move. It's like a T-Rex. It doesn't see me. The the way big daddies work are pretty cool in the fact in the fact that they're guardians of the little sisters and spoiler you know the game will tell you in a minute but if you don't attack the big daddies or the little or the little sisters fucking flood my words there they won't fuck with you which is cool you're stupid if you don't because like you know you have to really because you want to run around and grab all the little sisters mm, grabbing them uh, so you can get more at them and shit but you could run past them if you're a bitch and you're playing the game on easy. Fuck, I drank whiskey. I'm all drunk and shit. Fucking achievement in Bioshock Infinite. Kill five people while drunk. Didn't do it yet. Whoa! She had a gun. She had a gun. Oh, but now she's got fucking... She's got nothing. She's got nothing. You got nothing. Oh, she's still shooting me. Oh, my God. Headshot. Right in her face. Right in her fucking face. So it won't automatically reload your... Your Eve until you switch to it. So make sure you do that. If you switch to your Eve and it's empty, like completely empty, like your last attack drained it, it'll automatically give you another shot and refill it if you switch to it. Um, also, much like the gun, if you fire off some plasmids and you're missing a little bit of Eve, if you hit X while you have Eve equipped, that will reload your plasmid and or your Eve and you will stab yourself and use one. I do that all the time by accident. Oh, in midair, I fucking wanted to whack him, but I already had the gun out, so I just shot him in the face. And it seemed to work out just as well. I was gonna say just as fine. I don't know if that's actually correct. I searched his asshole. What's up, bitch? That's so satisfying to do that. So I already have this game perfected on, on my gamer tag, which is what I'm playing it on. I didn't bother creating a new one, so there won't be any achievement pops during this. I oh, fucking heavily apologize. With, you know, my deepest sincerities for that. Apologies. Sim sympathies? My deepest sincerities? What, a fucking idiot? Jesus. Oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk! I'm drunk! They took my raw stand! They... No! What? Okay. So we're nearing the end of, like, the prologue here, which is great. Because this will be the perfect spot to end it. I believe this whole section, pretty much what you witnessed, is the is the trial version of this game. Uh, available last I checked, unless they took it down, on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, you don't want to be in here anyway. You want to be out here, where these guys jump down. Because when this guy jumps down, you do that, and you can zap a bunch at once. Oh shit, want to heal? I don't know why that first guy didn't get hit by it there, but zap you there. Um, but if it's still available to download, I absolutely recommend downloading it. It's fucking great. If you even remotely enjoyed this video, hated the commentary or not, but if you enjoyed this video and you think the game looks cool, I totally recommend you fucking downloading this trial. The only difference is they actually, I think, give you a little bit more in the trial. Like, they, uh, I, I think they give you the, I forget what it's called, the incendiary or whatever the, whatever the fuck the fireball perk is called. I can't fucking believe I can't remember what it's called. But they give you, not perk, uh, plasmid. So you get electro bolt and then you get the, uh, the fireball. In Inferno, I think that's what it's called. Oh shit, there's a lot of dudes in here. Oh fuck, this is where this is where hard will get you. In the fucking bathroom! Oh yeah, shit's hard in the bathroom. Switch the gun, bitch! Pew, 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 pew! Hasn't come into play yet because I only have one gun. So just hitting right bumper switches from this to this. But what's cool about this game. Oh my god! Ah you bitch! You stupid bitch! How? is that if you hold down the right bumper, it brings up this wheel, and this actually freezes the game entirely. So you have all the time in the world to think about what weapons you want to use, and you won't get your ass kicked while you're doing it. Same goes... No? Wait? Yeah. No? No? Same doesn't go for the plasmids. I thought it did. Apparently it doesn't. Oh! I can't do it because I only have one so far. Same goes for the plasmids, I'm fairly certain. There we go. There's a fucking turret out here somewhere that you definitely want to electro bolt. And, well, it's all the way over there, so if you wander to the left, it'll push your shit in. Unless you have to kill it. I don't exactly remember. Hang on. No, you gotta go to the right. So it'll, it'll fucking kick your ass. You can just run, or you can try and zap it and then haul ass. 
No, 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 fuck it. Actually, I think it should be fine, because it's far enough away. Yeah, just haul ass. Uh, if you wander to the other side, that thing will shoot the crap out of you. Big on to the Big on to Big on to Big on to the other side. Yeah, no shit, I'm trapped. This is like the perfect part. The spot to end the part. And everyone's gonna be like, what? That's an eyeball. Look at this guy. Andrew Ryan, great character. Love him. If you haven't experienced the story of Bioshock, I kind of recommend you don't ruin it with my Let's Play. Here's what you do. Play with me. Play the game a little bit, watch the Let's Play. Play the game a little bit, watch the Let's Play. It's fucking great. It's a great game. Great story. I think it holds up even after you beat it. I have fun playing it every time. Look at me. Look at all the fun I'm having. I'm jumping up and down. <sighs> Who watches Game of Thrones? Gonna watch it tonight, dude. I'm fucking excited. It's on in. Hang on, let me check. Two hours it starts. Season two. Or season three, episode two. So these guys want to fuck my shit up because Andrew Ryan is like, uh. We're not quite sure what's happening yet in the story. I'm not gonna spoil it. For everyone in the goddamn comment section that says a bunch of shit, you say whatever you want, obviously. Uh, whatever. But if you're like, why don't you mention this? It's because I'm not gonna spoil shit ahead of time. Some people haven't fucking played this game. You fucking cray cray if you haven't played it. But those people are there. They exist. And played it, they have not. So we're loading the medical pavilion. This game does have autosaves, but for the love of God, do not rely on them. Because it autosaves, like, once every 30 hours. Like, this may be the first autosave since God knows when. I, I hit new game. If I fucking reloaded, it would have been on, like, like the first scene after the opening cutscene. It's so friggin' rare. And, like, especially in hard, you always, always, always save when you get to a big daddy. But... Do yourself a favor and save in other spots too, because occasionally there'll be like fucking turrets that'll pop up or sentry bots and shit, as we'll see later in the next part. And they can fucking kill you quick if you're not paying attention on hard. So save often, get your bass balls, do all that shit. Bioshock Let's Play started. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I hope you guys are feeling pretty good about it too, cause uh, we're just gonna fucking blast off, baby! In a part two. That's next time. Beautiful! Usually I, um, I include when I save. I just forgot. That guy stopped and I was like, oh, time, okay. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't save it. I was going to end in that beautiful line, too. That would have been fucking great.